actually gonna go ahead and hand deliver our first fish. It's gonna be kind of like a prank. We got 20 minutes before he gets off of work. Look at that, live animals right there. Housekeeping, yo, we gotta get out of here. Joey Slam. Come up, come up, come up. Oh, they're ready to eat, but we actually stuffed them because Today, we are actually gonna be having some members join us. That is right, we're having new members join the Massive Pond here. But this is not even the Massive Pond, guys. The Massive Pond is gonna be on this side. Follow me, it's nice and quiet now. Hear that? You didn't hear someone just tell you to subscribe to the channel? Guys, what are you doing? You're missing out, it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have a huge pond here. But like I was saying, today, we're actually gonna go ahead and hand deliver our first fish. It's gonna be kind of like a prank with a ding dong ditch. Wild world of farting. Now, I have this huge box here, which is perfect for hand delivering fish to front doors. Like, I can kind of fit in this box. You know, it's not that bad. And, but also, this bag is huge. And if I can actually try to fit myself into this bag, I can mail myself to Lily, maybe. <laughs> We gotta work on this bag, it's not that small yet. The fish that we're gonna be hand delivering is gonna be this fish right here. Take a look. That is right guys, it's gonna be brew. That is right, we're hand delivering the red tail catfish, the small regular one, the one that we call brew. Now, I feel comfortable giving it back to Wild World of Farley. He kinda doesn't know that's gonna happen. We're gonna get this box right here, fill it up with water, get everything I need, and transport him over there, and I'm gonna be hand delivering this fish. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I have a subscriber who contacted me about getting some massive fish for this pond. And I need to go ahead and make the appropriate accommodations for that fish. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this going. Alrighty guys, so we gotta go ahead and get this box all set up. Alright, Wild World of Party is at work and he's gonna be coming home soon and I want him to come home to a surprise. So we're gonna get this bag right here and I'm gonna get this bucket. We just gotta go ahead and get just enough water for this transport. I mean, Wild World of Farley should be getting off in about 30 to 45 minutes. So we don't have much time for this transport. So we're gonna add this water right here. Now that we have this all filled up, that should be sufficient enough for this fish. Put that there. All right, yeah, that's just enough. Now comes the challenging part. You guys know, every time a net goes inside of a pond, something goes flying. Now, I have my mega net over here, but we also have iridescent sharks. And iridescent sharks fly. I mean, when they fly, they jump out and fly. So now, here comes the real test. Can I get Brute, the red-tailed catfish, before these iridescent sharks start flying around? Are you ready? Here we go, guys. We're going in. Oh my gosh, everything's gonna go nuts. A net hasn't been here since we added these fish at all. Not a single net has been in this pond besides us picking up poop. Come on, buddy. Come on. Easy. Oh, no. He's going to hide behind that filter. I'm going to scoop as fast as I can. Got him. This worked out a lot better. Get ready, guys. We're going to go ahead and get this red tail right here, right now. He's inside the water. Now I have to go ahead and flip this net carefully get safely into that bag. And I, oh, perfect. It couldn't have worked out better. Look, it just swam right into the bag. Thank you, buddy. I don't know if you guys can see, but let's look at Brute right here, guys. He's a gorgeous red tail catfish. He's beautiful. I would dare to say he is about eight to 10 inches. Gorgeous fish. Now, the fish we're going to be replacing him are a very big secret. I can't wait to see him because I have yet to see him myself. So I'm excited about that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and bag this guy up and get him to Wild World of Farley. So now we have the air that's going to last. This is going to last a lot longer than 30 minutes. They usually go ahead and use these bags right here. And they ship them for 24 hours, same day shipping. So we're all set. It's insulated. It's good. Come close and check it out. We have Brute right here swimming around. He's doing pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, I doubt it. But he's swimming around, he's good, this bag is perfect. Nice and insulated box. Now, here comes the fun part. Close this thing up, get this all taped up. Here we go, one. This is how you close the box. I'm really bad at gift wrapping. 
Lily knows she hates when I give her as presents. Alrighty, better go ahead and add several layers first. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh yeah. Catch that dip. Do this. We're gonna go ahead and layer this thing all up. Make it as difficult as possible for Wild World of Farley, my friend, to go ahead and open this box. But also, I want to make sure that this fish is safe at the same time. It's just going to be at a front door, not that long. Oh god, we got 20 minutes before he gets off of work. And he lives really close to work. If you guys didn't know Wild World of Farley, does YouTube fun while he's actually a pharmacist saving lives. So, all right. I think we're good. Kind of looks like a flag. Kind of like the British flag. Check it out. Oh, See yeah. That? Yeah. He does. I did a good job. All right. Let's make this so difficult. He's going to be like, who the heck did this? All of this for a fish I already had. This fish is going to a good home. He's gonna love it. He loves catfish. He has that place called Catfish Kingdom. So these are all set and good to go. Here comes the hard part. <sighs> we're good. Now we're heading to Wild World of Farley's. So we made it to Wild World of Farley's house. Oh, okay, okay. We're checking to see everything's nice and tidy right here, right now. What we got here? Look at that. Live animals right there. That's perfect. All right. Come on, let's go this way. Yeah. All right, guys. So we made it to Wild World of Farley's house, and now we're gonna deliver this to his door right now. So we're gonna do it just like UPS. Right here, we can ring the doorbell, then run. Well, we should have had the car started or something at least. So, all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's enough shade and everything. I wanna make sure the fish is safe, and he can see this huge package that's gonna be at his door. I also don't want someone to come steal this package as well. So we're gonna put this on here. All right, buddy, go ahead and make someone happy. Housekeeping, yo, we gotta get out of here. So we went ahead and dropped off that box at my good friend, my YouTuber friend, Wild World of Farley's. Go ahead and comment at the bottom of this video telling him to check the front door before it's too late and poor Brute is outside cooking. I'm hoping that's not the case because he is gonna be home. It is 12. 30 my time that means he's got to be home he got off at 12 it's about a 30 minute commute so now we got to go ahead and commute a couple hours head down south and finally be able to see what the heck is going inside of the new slave pond all right slayers so we finally have made the long haul the long trip and we have made it to where we have to be now what's really cool is i got this nice container that has wheels look at those things go it's so dope. It has nice little lid and everything. And we're going to be able to put our fish here. Now, I hope this is big enough. Because he did say monster fish, but I don't know how big they are, whether they're big or small. We still go ahead and slay them off. So anyways, we're going to lock this thing up. It's good to go. We don't need the sticker. We'll get rid of that sticker. Hopefully he doesn't mind me just littering around his yard. Now, I have bad news. I forgot the net. So I have my baby net only. I left the big net on the floor when I was messing with Brute, which I dropped off at Wild World of Farley. So I have this, now I have no net. Hello? Give me one second. Okay, now we fixed it. So hopefully the fish is not too big because if not, we're screwed. This is, this is all I got. You know, I can, I can still get you guys, but I don't know if we can go ahead and catch any monster fish. So let's go ahead meet up with our boy Ant and see what he has in store for the Slayers. Yo Ant, I'm here. Hello? Yo, yo. Yo. What up? What's good bro? Good to finally meet you. Right, this guy yo. hit me up, told me so. he has some fish for us to pick up. Yeah, my boy right oh, here. Yeah. My name's Joey, so we're kind of brothers already. So Joseph <laughs> and Joey, it's good to go. Now, guys, yeah. where's it at? All right, let's go. Come on, Slayers, let's try. So this guy has like a little oasis where he has a pond. Look at this, guys. Is this for your pond, bro? <laughs> bro, we experienced Hurricane Dorian, which we didn't really experience like the Bahamas did. And come come check out the size of this generator. 15,000 watts, 
You can power a whole house. Anyways, guys, back to what we're supposed to be doing. Let's go ahead and see what there is to see around here. There's no fish. Look, we have fish in there. They're, they're just dolphins. That's just painted part of the pool. Oh, here it is. Let's check it out. Oh my god. 